In this video, we'll be exploring what integrating in medicine, dentistry and vet medicine is and why it might be something to think about. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name is Hassan. I'm a third year medical student at UCL. Before we go any further, I've linked timestamps in the description below. So please feel free to skip ahead to any sections that interest you. So what is intercalating? Intercalating is when you take a year out of your medicine, dentistry or vet medicine degree after your second, third or fourth year to undertake an additional undergraduate program. At many universities, it's optional, but it's compulsory at a few, namely Oxford, Cambridge, Imperial, Nottingham, and of course, UCL. At UCL, and I know definitely for Cambridge as well, you intercalate in your third year, so after two years of medicine. So this can be a BSc, a BA, or even a master's level program. However, this very much depends on the university you're applying to. If you're a prospective medical student, I recommend you check online and check the websites for more detail. And if you're thinking about applying to UCL, feel free to drop me a message and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you have about the BSc program and what intercalating may be like at UCL. Depending on your university policy, it is possible to intercalate at other universities. This may be because they offer a degree that your university doesn't. So I'd always recommend checking your university policy. For example, I have a friend who studies at UCL with me, but he went to Imperial to do management. Just to get an idea of how many people intercalate, some research on the BMJ found that approximately one third of medical students intercalate. Medicine is already such a long degree at five years. So you're probably thinking, why intercalate? But there are some huge benefits to intercalating. So one benefit is you could delve into a subject that interests you, that you haven't had the time to learn about alongside medicine. So one thing that really interested me was learning how to code. And this is something that I had wanted to do for quite a long time, but I didn't quite have the time to do it alongside medicine as I have found medicine such a big commitment in itself. This year, I'm now intercalating in maths and computing. So I'm able to get a whole degree out of it as well, I spent a whole year just focusing on computing and I'm able to dedicate a lot more time towards learning how to code. This is just one of the many BSCs that are available. So if you have something that you find interesting, it may be worth taking a look at the possible degrees that you can do at your university and even other universities if your uni allows you to move to a different university for a year to do a degree there. And I guess a small benefit of that would be you'd be able to explore life in a different city. So. I've heard of people coming out to London to do, to intercalate in universities in London. This way they're able to experience the London life for a year. So point number two, you get much better at reading scientific papers and being able to critically analyze their findings. So in the first two years of medicine, I didn't read a single scientific paper or piece of literature, but that, that's completely changed this year. I've done a complete 180 and I've been spending a lot more time reading research papers and Therefore, I've found it a lot easier now to read a research paper and to be able to take the main points away from it and to understand it in a much better manner than before. So this helps you to keep up to date on any topics that you're interested in. So for me, it would be machine learning and coding and how that can apply to medicine. For you, it might be something different, but I think definitely having the skill to read a research paper is something that's essential and something that I'm really grateful to have now. If you're interested in doing a competitive specialty such as surgery, then intercalating might be for you. It's a great way to get extra points for the foundation program. The foundation program is made up of 100 points with half of that coming from the situational judgment test that you take in your final year of medical school and the other half coming from your educational performance measure. Your educational performance measure is made up of two elements, your medical performance and your educational achievement. Your medical school performance is based on what decile you get. So if you're in the first decile, you get 34 points. And this is if you're in the top 10% of your year. If you're in the second decile, which is the next following 10%, you get 42 points and etc. It goes all the way down to 34. So if you're in the 10th decile of your cohort, you'll get 34 points towards your foundation program. So educational achievements is made up of any additional degrees that you have and publications. So this can include PhDs, degrees you've done in the past, but the one we're focusing on today is intercalated degrees. So the example that I'll give is doing a BA or a BSc. If you get a first class honors in a BA or BSc, this gives you four points and you also have the potential to get published, which can give you one point for each publication that you get for a maximum of two points. So by doing an intercalated degree, you have the potential to gain an additional six points on your foundation program, which can really help when it comes to the competitive specialties. 
So from your fifth year of study, the Department of Health will pay you for your full tuition fee and give you 1,000 towards living costs. I think you can get up to 5,000 for means tested, but everybody is guaranteed a def definite 1,000 their fifth and sixth year. This essentially means that integrating is free as you don't have to pay for tuition fees and you don't have to pay further maintenance loans either. Final point, when you integrate, you generally have a lot more free time and a lot more flexibility when it comes to your degree. This can give you time to focus on stuff outside of medicine, such as YouTube, or even if you just want to take some time to recalibrate before fourth year. I think a lot of people spend their integrated degree as a year to kind of focus on themselves and focus on other things outside of medicine that they haven't had the chance to do previously. Most people that go into medical school, like myself, go directly from college to medical school and they don't have a break in between or a gap year. So I guess this year is a good year to kind of spend some time away from medicine and kind of have somewhat of a gap year whilst it's something that I'm interested in and that I enjoy. So I guess what are some of the downfalls of integrating? So I guess one downfall would be you may fall behind your peers. So if you're, if you're at a university where integrating is optional and not compulsory, if your friends don't want to integrate but you want to, it'll mean you spend a year integrating and therefore you fall a year behind them. Now this doesn't really mean much in the grand scheme of things, but I guess it is something to consider. Another downfall would be it's, an, it's a whole additional year of study where some people may want to just complete medical school so they can start working as a full-time doctor and they don't want to spend an additional year doing a different degree. They, they may feel that this makes medical school too long, bringing it to a total of six years. So in this video, we talked about integrating. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found any value from it, then please think about giving it a like, maybe subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.